did you have poison ivy? No, I can't really explain it, but I got real itchy though over the weekend. So is that? I mean, I think that's new for you to get itchy down there. <laughs> I'm not itchy down there, Brandon. It's, it's uh, the crevice. It's the cum gutters, as they call them. <laughs> Welcome to Morning Sunshine. It's your host, Brandon Walker and Kate. Hi, welcome to Morning Sunshine. My name is Brandon Walker. To my left is Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi, good morning, Brandon. Oh, good morning to you. It's such a nice morning out there today. Uh, the dew was on the ground and the chickens were singing and... I don't know. I didn't wake up till like 11, but mm -mm, still, it was, <laughs> it was, what a morning. What a beautiful morning it is in America. Sure is. You know what I need, though? Hmm. Some pancakes, some bacon, something to make me fat. Yep. I, I need to get fat. Let's do it. Pour that syrup on it. I like to go to Riley's Cafe in beautiful Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Mm. Beautiful Cedar Rapids. I say, uh, oh, Baba, Riley's. The who? I think I speak for both Kate and I when I say, out there in Cedar Rapids, if you're watching, you kiss my fucking ass. On the news, I have a thing with Iowa. Mm. But they don't like me. Why? I said some things once. Let's talk news. Kate, the news? You know what? First, let's see if we need to beep, beep. Hit the brakes. Oh, wait, because I, I skipped a part in the format. I, I can't read. <laughs> so <laughs> we better pull over because Brandon's so stupid. <laughs> ah, we're dead. <laughs> Rowan with the traffic. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Uh, we're here at, I don't know, Front and uh, Oregon or something. And uh, yeah, the, this is what the traffic looked like two days ago or whenever you need this. Just doing a real shoot here. Back to you guys. Huh. Okay. Another, one, another hot one from Rose. I don't know if he's taking this job seriously. I'll be honest, I'm just thankful that we have people with a following and clout that are participating on the show. You said, because y'all were both from Philly, that he was going to be good for us. I didn't, honestly, I didn't think he was going to say yes. That's fair enough. Kate, the news. Uh, take me out to the ball game. <laughs> and I would never take you out anywhere. No, that's true. But spring training, baseball is back, which is great. Yay! I know you're big. A big baseball guy. Big, big peanuts and crack. Penis and cracker jacks. That's Absolutely. me. Old penis and cracker jacks. Uh, you're telling me, reaching the see what's at the bottom <laughs> of that box. <laughs> you're always gonna surprise, don't <laughs> you? Do. Anyways, yeah, baseball's back, and uh, I know you're a big football guy. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd give my synopsis. You're right. I'm a big football guy. That's my area of expertise. So I will yield the floor because I know you've been studying for the return of baseball for a while. Yep. Uh, it's called Barstool Sports. Sports, people. Sports. For a reason. Not. Because we can't get the rights for Barstool.com from right. that guy. Yeah, that guy took the rights. That's the only reason. So, first thoughts Mike Trout this season. Very good player. Wouldn't want Trout as last name. I got to tell you, I'm not feeling it. You so, wouldn't want Trout as a last name? Nope. Because it kind of smells like you already have it. <clears throat> working on it. Uh, Christian Yelich. I am not really religious, so I don't know if me and a Christian would vibe too well together. But I will say at the same time, if the angels aren't looking, would. <laughs> uh, Alex Bregman. I would uh, bag that man and brag about it. Marcus Semyon. Sorry, Trout, but this guy's got a last name. I'll take all the way down. <laughs> um, and that's baseball. Kate, hey, uh, were you breaking down the baseball, or were you, just, were you just looking at this in a sexual connotation? Did you, did you only Google image search these guys? I'll be honest. I don't even know what, I don't even know what teams they're on. I don't even know what position they play. Well, you, Mike Trout is on the Angels. Uh, Christian Yelich is on the Brewers, which is ironic because he'd have to have at least 22 Brewers to have <laughs> sex with you. <laughs> 23. <laughs> and then uh, those other guys, I, I don't, I don't know. I, 
I don't know. Thanks for mansplaining baseball to me, Brandon. Alex Trebek. In recent clip, love Alex Trebek. Love him. He's an yeah. angel. Uh, in a recent clip, it looks like he's still kicking cancer's ass and is in good enough spirits for another season of Jeopardy. That is phenomenal news. That is excellent, excellent news. And Surprise! I have a little round just to celebrate, just to pregame it and warm us up. We're gonna but do I'll a little Jeopardy together. Do a little Jeopardy. Let's play. Dumb idiots for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> Dumb idiots for a thousand. Dumb that's, idiots for a thousand. That's, that's what you're playing. Mm -hmm. I'll go, uh, I don't know. I'll go Fugly Sluts for 800. Fugly Sluts. What about, uh, let's do Cousin Fuckers for 69. <laughs> Dumb Mississippi Cousin Fuckers for 69. No, I, I heard the category. Cousin Fuckers. Oh, board's getting a little empty right now. I'll go. I don't know. I'll go office whores for 2,000, Alex. I told you all that in confidence. Final Jeopardy. Everybody was there. Your health. You're in Jeopardy. Because <laughs> you're a uh, fat piece of shit. Okay. That's why you are... What is... Only a little bit of time left. <laughs> what is a clogged arteries? What is uh, making it look like I'm eating salads on Twitter now for, for clout? I have had, not. I've had two salads in the last 24 hours. I've had two salads. Uh, I got it from Whole Foods. It cost me $26.50. And I only added a little bit of bacon and a, a dollop of ranch. Let's see if we're going to need those umbrellas out there today. Oh, I brought mine. So, Nick, go ahead. What? Nick, Nick, hello. Is he is he frozen? Nick. Oh fuck, my bad guys. <sighs> Welcome to the weather. You're not gonna fucking believe this shit. Look at this. It's a fucking twister. It's tearing it's tearing shit apart. Isn't Kate? Isn't that Kate? Is that? Yes, it is doing Bill Paxton. Oh my god, doing a movie. Is it Bill Paxton dead? <laughs> Soon to be. That's the weather. Another enlightening weather report from Nick. Now we all know exactly what to expect. Thank you, Nick. We got text KB. A recommendation wasn't worth the shit. Mm -hmm. We're not going well. Finally, a little bit of drama on Million Dollars Worth of Game. King Gilly was... Drama. I know. King Gilly was under attack by none other than Joe Budden. Who, Gilly the Kid. Gilly the Kid. Joe Budden called him a doofus. To which Gilly roasted his ass. Roasted him. So apparently, Joe Butthead, a.k.a. Joe Buttons, chose to go on his podcast and, you know, talk a little crazy about me. You know what I'm saying? He called me a, a, a doofus. I'm from the streets, man. I don't know what a doofus is. I'm sorry. You would have to explain that to me. Is that in the dictionary? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, well, he called me a doofus. That was some real suburban shit. I will say, did it feel good to have him speaking your language finally? For a change? Well, you think I'm somebody that would call somebody a doofus? Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't call it, I would never call a grown man a doofus. I would have okay. called him a, a fart knocker. <laughs> I mean. A goober. <laughs> <laughs> a goober. <laughs> um, oh, boy. A butt munch. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking loser you were. A giant loser. Right? Well, what do you call him? Doofus? Yeah. No, no. I, I, looking at you now, I can see where a doofus would come to mind. You got any more news? No. Thank God. <laughs> fuck. Shit. Uh, yikes. I mean, <laughs> that was. I mean, fuck, Kate. Damn. That oh, was I rough. Oh, oh, I haven't ended the show. I haven't ended the show yet. I haven't ended the show. I am Brandon Walker. This is Kate. That's Morning Sunshine.
Is there anything I can do to say to get you to get up and leave now, or? No. Mm. I had sex with my wife this weekend. Okay, I, uh, I didn't get scabies <laughs> at a motel. It was, it was. So. Thought you might stand up and leave and discuss so I could be here by myself. No, I know, it's not true, so. Right, it was a lie. Yeah, I know, I know. We text, uh, she and I are. Oh, she had sex this weekend. Yeah. I might have been in the house. You were. <laughs> Had to tiptoe by you like a like a little minx. <laughs> Speaking of, my wife has scabies. Hello. Oh boy. Yep. 